Pro Sansone Fresco, we're working over a primed surface. We're taking the Pro Sandstone spatula, thinning it with just a little bit of water to make it more rollable, and applying it to about 30 to 40 percent of the surface. We'll work maybe one or two square yards at a time, and before it has a chance to set up, we'll take the magic trowel, hydrate that edge a little bit with a damp sponge and then just gently knock down the peaks. This will eliminate all the sharp peaks that you would get otherwise. We'll let this dry for several hours to overnight before we come back and base coat that with an acrylic wall paint. The next step for our finish will be to put a solid coat of an off-white paint on the surface. We're just going to roll that on use a brush along the edges and corners of the room. When you roll over these textured finishes it's almost better to go in different directions when you finish off so any roller marks will be disguised in the texture as opposed to just rolling vertically like you would on a normal coat of paint for a wall. After our second coat of latex paint is allowed to dry we can mix up a tinted glaze with open time glaze and about 25% latex paint. That's a good starting ratio. You can always add more glaze if you want a more translucent effect or a little bit more paint if you want more solid covering. This can be applied with a brush or with a roller. I'm using a brush in this case. With open time glaze and a well sealed surface you can work very large areas at a time, even whole walls. When the glaze is first applied, it flattens out all of the texture that we created underneath. So it's this next step that really shows off all of the wonderful texture that you expect to see in the fresco finish. I'm going to use cheesecloth to start with, just to remove some of the excess glaze and the brush marks. Some people like this finish at this stage, but if you remove some of the high spots, you'll start to see more of the texture. So I'll use a, a dampened cellulose sponge. If you gently pull that across the high spots, it will collect, the glaze will collect in the low areas, leaving more contrast. If you wanted an even softer finish, some of the scratch marks created by the sponge could be removed easily with a badger blender. So this is for a little higher contrast finish. If you accidentally remove too much of the glaze, you can go back and repair areas with the brush just by applying a little bit more glaze, going back with the cheesecloth, and then finally just a little bit of sponge. So. It's very easy to repair this while you're working on it. And that is the Profo Sandstone Fresco finish. Mm -hmm.